Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I've got a cool video planned for you. Uh, for those of you who saw my last couple of videos, the, the topics of those are gonna influence today's video. So the first one, I got new grips on my clubs. I went from a standard slash medium size grip to a jumbo. And I recently took a trip to the PGA Superstore. And while I was there, I picked up this Ogeo a wood cart bag. It is a 2023 bag design. And I'm going to be switching out from this TaylorMade. Um, nice bag. I got this at Disney at the end of the year last year. I haven't used it, but a little bit. And I like it, but two things. Uh, I want a little more space for some stuff. I primarily play golf on a golf cart, and so I don't need the stand. I don't need um, the straps typically. And then also um, with the jumbo grips, I really think each club needs its own slot. So this is a 15 way bag with 15 individual spaces for clubs. And also me being more of an OCD kind of person, I actually really like and prefer the clubs being more organized. So just to give you kind of an example, I'm gonna show you quickly the differences. Before I do, if you're not subscribed, hit subscribe. If you uh, have any comments or have any suggestions for videos we should do, let us know. You're here at Bogey King Golf, we're here for the average golfer. Everything is from the average golfer's perspective. So let me show you these two bags and the differences, and then we're gonna make the switch over, and I'm gonna go out and play this afternoon. The weather here is beautiful, it's a fall day. Uh, it's like 74 degrees, slight breeze, so I cannot wait to get out, but I also can't wait to get out and use my new Ogeo golf bag. So let's get into it. All right, so as you can see, this is a nice tailor-made stand carry bag. It does have different uh, straps you can put on. You have a single strap if you're just gonna carry it from the car back to the clubhouse, or this also does have the uh, crisscross straps if you're gonna carry it out in the course. The downside to this though is it's got minimal pockets, so it's got a pocket here for your valuables. It's got bigger space there, and of course you've got space for like your glove and your T markers and stuff, and then you have your ball pocket there. All great and wonderful. And then inside of here, you just have one, two, you have basically a four, uh, a four pocket space that all the clubs, sorry for the sun there, that all the clubs sit in. And so it's not too bad, but you can see if I'm trying to pull this out, they're sticking and they're tight to get into. They're also kind of jumbled together. So the difference is now I have this Ogeo and this has 15 way divider. So you have space for all your woods, your irons, your wedges, and then your putter. Has a spot up here for your, you know, gloves, tees, markers, etc. Another spot here with the, the click pouch, I call it. Big pocket down below for your balls. And then on the side, you have a huge side pocket that comes with the rain cover that you go on top. Then you have another click pocket here for your valuables, quick access, another pocket on the side. And this thing is so crazy. You turn around here and you have almost the same exact configuration on this side. You've got another big side pocket in here, another soft pocket. These are lined and then another pocket here, space for water. And then on the back, which is really cool, is you have these cart straps. So you can strap this to your cart. You've got a carry strap, just a single strap, and that allows you to easily carry it from back and forth from the clubhouse. But we're going to load this thing up and then we're going to put it on the cart and see how it does. to organize my clubs. So I start with driver, and then I go with three wood, have my ping hybrid iron, three iron, ping four iron, and then we go Callaway, five iron, six iron, seven iron, Eight iron. Again, I love the separation. 
organization, nine iron, pitching wedge. And then I have, let's see, 52. 56. Sixty, and then I have a spot for the putter. So look at just one how all the clubs are open. You can see them not together, and I still have one extra space, which I will put. We'll see if this fits. I'm gonna put my swing stick in here. Uh, this hit stick is used for softball, baseball, or golf. I like that it's weighted and it has flexible shaft. I use it to hold my Sunday golf bag and or sorry my sunday golf towel and um i use it to get warmed up when i'm out on the course as you can see i was talking about this just has four pockets these go straight down um this one's actually not technically it's just a top divider it's not divided all the way through you can see that with the light so let's now open up this portion here we're going to Get all these things moved over. Got lots of gloves and junk in here. What good is a golf bag if you're not carrying a whole bunch of stuff with you? Okay. All right, so as you can see, this thing is now fully stocked. I've got my driver, three wood, three iron, four iron, five, six, seven, Eight, nine through pitching wedge, my wedges, my putter, and my hit stick space for my glove and all of the goodies I take. I got tees, balls, uh, the good ones I like to play with in certain rounds, the junky balls if I'm just messing around. Spot over here for different types of things. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna throw it on the golf cart. We're gonna see how it fits and how everything lines up. And then like I said, we're gonna head out and play and uh, I'll wrap up with some initial thoughts after the first round and then we'll do a long-term review so you guys can see um, just how well this bag, this donut bag works. All right, here is the bag mounted to my cart. Now, um, you can ignore the messy garage, but the key things that I would love to do, so on a regular golf course, these straps would attach and fit perfectly onto the back rail of the golf cart. In this instance, I'm putting the strap through there. I have a strap at the bottom. I do have the bag sideways because it doesn't fit between the uh, back rail and the seat. That's okay because I want to have clear access to everything. It's in nice and tight. I don't expect it to go anywhere. And then other considerations are you can actually easily get things clearing the roof if you have your bag facing back this way. I have found in this club car model that uh, sometimes you don't have access to get things out without hitting the roof. So. That's good for now. I've got my towel, got my, again, all my different equipment. So let's go out, hit the course, see how this thing does, and then we'll do, you know, we'll report back and let you know um, how it is. All right, everyone, so for you, it was probably just the transition for me. I've been on the course, I've played 17 holes, I'm on number 18, and I have to say, so far, after 17 holes, I am really digging this bag. Um, let me just talk you through a couple things that I've observed already, and then I'll give you kind of the, the unbiased, you know, full opinion. So, as you can see, uh, all the clubs are in their own slot. This is a 15-way bag, so each club has its own space. I like how it's nice and organized and then there are all these spots and all my shadows here all these spots here this is for like your gloves this is a good spot for your tees you've got I've, I've got tees and balls in here got kind of crappy balls in here that I don't really care about too much I've got my towel hanging off the design looks great and it really sits great on the cart I know if I had this in a regular golf cart um, it would do great as well I think it looks really cool the club stayed relatively steady in there weren't really any issues um coming bringing the clubs in and out is really good like i said on my last or earlier i got the jumbo grips now so i think having the individual slots is better because the clubs go in and out much better than they did in the bag where everything was together and bunched up but uh, i'm gonna play a number of rounds of this bag 
I'm gonna do a full review, you know, long term. And I actually have the OGO wood hybrid bag that this replaced. Now, there was a reason why I changed it out. I'm gonna do a separate video where I talk about that. So make sure you're subscribed so you see that video. Hit the like, turn on the notifications. It's gonna help you out to know when new content comes out. Everything we do here at Bogey King Golf is from the average golfer's perspective. And, you know, I'm here just buying these things so you guys don't have to. And then if things are great, telling you you should because, hey, you know, um, hopefully that helps you out. Now, like I said, OGO is great. This is my fourth OGO bag. I've had TaylorMade, Nike, I'm trying to think what else, a few others, but this is by far, OGO is my favorite brand when it comes to bags. They're made well. They're expensive. This bag was $289.99. Uh, so this is not on the low end. This is a cart bag, so there's no stand. It has a strap you can use to carry to your car and back. Um, it does have cool straps in the back, so you can hook it to the golf cart, the normal, more, more traditional golf cart. And, um, you know, it's it's pretty stable, though, standing up on its own, but obviously you got to keep it strapped in the cart to maintain while you're out here driving. So I'm going to tee off. I'm going to play 18, but um, I will come back to a long-term review on this bag. So, again, make sure you're subscribed. And, uh, yeah, we hope this video was helpful. Drop a comment below. Let me know what kind of bag you use. Do you stand, cart, hybrid? What's your preference? And I might do a video. Let me know if you'll like this on all different bag types. I'll take out my bags and talk through them all, give you all the differences, po you know, positives, negatives from my perspective. And hopefully that could be helpful for you. So, again, make sure you subscribe. Hit that like. Share this video with your friends. Uh, check out bogeykingsports.com. We have great partners with great discounts for you. Links are on the site with Blue Tees Golf, Craftsman Golf, Sunday Golf, uh, really great brands, really cool stuff. So check those guys out. And uh, yeah, we're glad you're here. Thanks for watching. And we'll catch you next time. And as we say every video here at Bogey King Golf, you can still have fun even if you're playing plus one. So until next video, get out, play some golf, and we'll catch you next time. All right, everyone. Later.